Since the late 90s, the Royer R121 has been a go-to to many engineers on electric guitars, drums, percussion, and brass instruments. The R121 is Royer's flagship microphone. It earned Royer its tough ribbon reputation by being able to handle high SPLs that would normally shred older ribbon microphones. The R10 is the newest microphone from Royer Labs and uses the same 2.5 micron offset ribbon as the R121. It delivers fidelity, durability, and brightness on the back side of the microphone, used within three feet of any sound source. The R121 has an exaggerated proximity effect, meaning the closer that you put it to the source, the more low end that it will capture. The R10 features a multi-layered windscreen and an internally shock-mounted ribbon transducer. The layered windscreen provides superior protection from wind blasts and plosives, allowing you to close mic a guitar cabinet or acoustic instruments without the buildup of lower frequencies. Much like the R121, the R10 is a perfect choice for brass instruments, acoustic instruments, drums, and percussion. Both the R121 and the R10 use a figure eight polar pattern. The R10 can handle superior sound pressure levels of 160 dB at 1K. Included with the R10 is a road ready case, a proprietary mic clip, and Royer's signature felt bag. Today we're gonna to do a shootout between the two mics on a Fender Super Reverb, a Metropolis GPM 45, and a Magnetone M10 with my Gibson Les Paul and my Fender Telecaster. Let us know your thoughts on how these mics stacked up to each other in the comments below. For more information on both microphones, be sure to contact your sales rep at Vintage King or visit us online. Thanks for watching.